What's going on people? We are back with another video. I hope you guys are always enjoying the content that I have here and please do consider hitting that like button as well as that subscribe button too. But here's the thing though. Recently I made a video exposing that uh, well Naheem and Nyla are actually first cousins and the reason why I expose is because well family members came out to speak up to say hey guys just so you know these two are actually first cousins. So da, da 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 and that's something that I did speak about in a previous video. Please, I recommend you go watch that video. It is the last video that I made regarding these two. But one of the family members decided to then reach out to me, Destiny, as you can see on our screen. So we had a short little brief conversation where I was able to gather a little bit of information that I'm here to share with you guys today. Because boy, 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 it only really gets worse. To imagine that the first video that I made on these two was based on the fact that they even had like a... I believe they were evicted from their home because it wasn't, you know, paying up their bills and all that kind of stuff. And then we fast forward to where we are right now and find out that these two are first cousins and what we're going to discover now. And the first thing that you can see on your screen, it says embarrassing that they're on TV like husband and wife when they're actually cousins. So I was like, hold on a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> so are you so are they not married? This I'd ask the question, right? And as you can see, the response was, to be honest, they say they are, but uh, huh, they never had a wedding or anything. But they moved out of the country so much that they could have got married in Egypt or Dubai. Who knows? And I was like, hey, <laughs> that is crazy. Seems as if they may not be married, but it's strange to get married. But no other family members knew about being married. And that is a very, very strange thing. And of course, she did say that she would ask around. So you know what I did? I took it upon myself to do a little bit of research. Now, better in better to mind, I'm in the UK, so my researches of trying to do things in other countries are very limited. But I try to, you know, do what I can with the VPN. And this is what I came up with. Now, the only problem with this is that this is not a confirmation, in my humble opinion, that these two are necessarily married. But it's a closer that I can get to maybe this represents who they are. As you can see, we've got his name at the very, very beginning itself in particular. But also on top of that, he says the person that he's married to back in July, back in the 11th of July, 2011. And as you can see, Nyla herself in particular, her name is here. It's just that it is half the name. And sometimes people do have a longer name, but they shorten it for whatever purposes, whether it's less syllables, make it easier, nickname, you name it, people do it. So I was thinking maybe this is them. This has to be them. But also at the same time, from what I understand, based on the show, they are in Pennsylvania. Now, I'm not... I'm quite good at my states here and there, you know what I mean? But either way, though, as you can see in this one, itself in particular, it is pretty much a marriage that happened around East Orange City, Essex County, New Jersey, USA. So, yeah, there is that too, you know what I mean? So there's the, the state thing that's a bit of a sticky one, do you see what I'm saying? So that, again, doesn't necessarily help the case. But the other thing that I also wanted to enhance on was that, uh, well, let's look at the dates, 11th of July to 2000, 11, 11 July 2011. And the reason why I want to sit on that date stuff in particular is because you see, in the next part here, as you can see, she says to me, but he's not a good person. I want to get in touch with TLC and tell them everything this man has lacked 12 to 14 years of child support. Cheat on my mama with Nyla, etc. So here's the thing. If we're going back 12, 14 years ago, 14 years ago is, is 2010. 12 years ago is 2012. So really and truly, that's why I said, I said to myself, um, I don't think they would have been married around that time per se, because it seems if there may have been a crossover to the relationship that he had with her mom at the time, if you ask me, at least that's how it seems to be. So again, I'm not 100% sure, but either way that I try to do it, but hey, you never know. Maybe someone else on Reddit, hint, hint, <laughs> will try and find out if these two really do have a marriage certificate. But also at the same time, let's not forget, though, there's a possible chance that they may be married in Egypt or Dubai as well. So I guess it's a case of also trying to get onto those servers, you know what I mean? But either way, though, it is pretty much embarrassing based on information that these two have come on a show claiming to be a couple, claiming to be married with no record of it per se. Meanwhile, they're just two cousins who just like to get their freaking freak on. But listen, let's continue because that's just the beginning. Now, to be fair, I did say to her, hey, just so you know, listen, TLC won't listen to you. Just trust me when I tell you. <laughs> they have other cast members far worse than them to trust me when I tell you, okay? So getting them removed of the show probably isn't going to happen. But that was me assuming that was the angle. And also on top of that, I did also reply to the fact that, hey, so he hasn't paid child support in 12 to 14 years and cheating your mom? What else happened? 
Tell me the tea, girl. Tell, tell me the tea. But she just, she just come out to confirm that, listen, she's not trying to get him removed or them removed. She just wants to do an interview and hopefully get paid. And listen, I respect the hustle. I, I, I truly respect the hustle, but I let girl know, listen, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> I don't believe that's ever, that I don't believe that's ever happened before because it would ruin the show, but it's whether Tribe is really and truly, when they cast people on these shows, they need the storylines to play out for what they are. So if somebody says, hey, I've got the tea and I've got the juice, da 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 da, and then they actually drop it themselves, then they're pretty much putting themselves on the foot that they're basically cars of people who are lying about da 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 da. So they're really into it, it doesn't help them, you know what I mean? But hey, it's worth a try. You never know, you never know. Now, of course, also at the same, at the same time, she continues by saying, I will be texting you all day if you want to know everything that he did, but I can tell you that Nyla put her hands on my sisters, and since then, we don't like her. But she never hit me because she used to always say that she wished I was her daughter. And I just said, yes, I would like to know everything about Naheem did, please. And I said, uh, she wished you was her daughter. Yeah, she doesn't even talk to you anymore. Like, what the hell is going on here? Uh -huh. Sadly, this is where the conversation came to an end, purely because at this point, you know, she had pretty much expressed that uh, she was really, really willing to tell me the rest if there was some form of compensation. And I said, hey, listen. I'm just a YouTuber, small time YouTuber. I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm in no position like that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not a news. I'm not one of these uh, famous news public reports like CNN and all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just a random guy from the UK watches the show and just makes videos. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so respectfully, I had to say, listen, I, I, I'm in no position. Do you know what I mean? And that's where side of the conversation ended this up in particular. But I get it. Listen, we live in a world where it's all about the hustle sometimes, and I get it. But but I will say this though, sometimes. Yes, I agree. It's all about the hustle. But then sometimes if there's information that should be told about someone who really is not a good person, then maybe sometimes it's better just expose that person rather than look for the reward. Why? Because really and truly, we live in a world where there's a lot of people who do a lot of mean things, but sadly are never exposed for various reasons. And really and truly, it'd be, it'd be so much better if we live in the world where people can just be exposed for their BS. And therefore, you know, we can bring more awarenesses for, uh, we can bring more awareness of things to watch out from, from people who may have seen a trait and X, Y, Z, you see what I'm saying, okay? That's why, of course, I make the videos, you know what I'm saying? Free of charge. Obviously, I get paid by YouTube, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> but I've still got to pay for my equipment, you know what I mean? Come on now, this equipment was not cheap! But nonetheless, though, it is what it is. It is what it is. The main thing is this. We walked away with information. Information number one, in no particular order, is that we found that the Nyla herself in particular has put her hands on the sisters before. And it's quite interesting because in one of the most recent episodes, we did see her, not necessarily get physical, but we definitely saw confrontation between uh, Nyla and, I believe, Nahi's mother in the episode. So that definitely shows us that she definitely has a level of venom behind her. And, uh, well, therefore... That's someone to watch out for. But also on top of that, we also learned that uh, when it comes to Naheem himself in particular, he's got other kids, but sadly he has not been taking his, his financial responsibility, which is just not good at all. So we've learned that as well, just what I'm saying, okay? And also on top of that, I believe we also learned that these two may not even actually be freaking married and the whole thing is nothing but a freaking lie. So there is that possibility too. So we did walk away with some information. Um, and listen, if I do come across some more information here and there, I would definitely always be here to let you lovely folks know what's freaking going on you know what i mean but nonetheless though apart from that <laughs> read it read it do your work find this freaking marriage certificate if it exists you know what i'm saying <laughs> i tried it okay allow me allow me <laughs> nonetheless though let me know what you're thinking down below in the comment section we'll talk about it don't forget to like subscribe and of course peace